the kids have left. I'm in my room by myself. This week is a crazy busy week. Like I haven't had <laughs> a month so busy as like this September has been. So I ordered a home chef box and they dropped off two meals to us this week because I really don't have time to go to the grocery store. I've got to get Jensen like immediately after our games. Today's actually a weird day. We get out a little bit early and then we have extra long um, like staff meetings, but they're kind of different meetings because we get to choose which one we want to go to and it's district wide. So elementary school teachers, middle school teachers, high school teachers, we all get to choose like a professional development meeting that we want to go to. So I'm in one about digital citizenship because that's something I think is really important for our students to learn more about and then like even for teachers to learn more about because this is just like a new world that we are discovering where we really do have like a very strong online presence, all of us do, but we are still real people that interact in the real world. So just finding a balance between those two things takes some skill, I think. So anyway, we've got some time to get lunch. I'm gonna eat and then go to that meeting. And then we have a volleyball game, so I have to go coach after this. And then I gotta go home and like cook some dinner. So this was such perfect timing. So thank you to Home Chef for sponsoring this video and sending me some meals. I already made this like pork banh mi bowl that was so good. It's something I just like wouldn't have thought of to make, you know? And it was funny because one of my friends came over like unexpectedly, she just happened to be around and the box had just arrived and it feeds two people and Derek was actually at practice. So I was like, sure, like come on over. I can make us dinner. Two meals for two people fit in this box apparently. How long ago was it? <laughs> oh, it's been a while. But we have to get tired in this job. Oh, 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 oh no, it's fine. I'm just gonna do like a really sped up just little like chopping thing and then be like, and it's done. <laughs> That totally worked out perfectly because otherwise I would have had like nothing to feed her. So she came over right when the box arrived. I made us some dinner and it was delicious. So tonight I'm making like salmon. So I'm already, already thinking about dinner, but actually I ordered Thai food for lunch. Cause see, I, I'm so disorganized this week. I don't even have anything for lunch. Like everything has just, ugh, everything has been crazy. I haven't had enough time to like operate my daily life. There's been so much going on at school, so I think my to-go order's ready. I'm gonna go get it from the Thai place across the street, and then see if I can get a little bit of like grading done during this lunch break. Okay, lunch is over, meeting is over, or at least I left the meeting. Uh, okay, six, seven, so I start with English tomorrow. Six, seven, so six is English, seven is history, three, one, we have a rotating schedule, which people always have questions about. It's just so that you don't have the same class at the same time all the time. Two, four, five, okay. Two, four, five. They've done this for like 30 years. They've just always had this rotating schedule. Okay, so I've got my schedule up. Uh, what are, okay, my English students tomorrow I think are doing like the next story in our textbook. Going to a game, uh, okay, here's another thing. <laughs> that people are sometimes surprised about, but um, a lot of gyms in Southern California in these old schools, our school is really, really old, we, uh, we don't have gyms because we don't have snow. So people, I guess, thought that we wouldn't need a gym and they didn't foresee all of this climate change where our weather is so incredibly hot. So we have to play our games outside unless we're playing a team with a gym, which we're not, so. Gotta get my uh, very dirty visor. This is what I use to coach in and go to practice in. All right, there we go. I've got my visor to keep the sun off my face. I need to bring all of these volleyballs with me. Oh shoot, I just remembered. Eh, I don't really need it. <laughs> um, the scorebook, but we're not the home team, so don't really need to keep track of all that. Okay, so heading out. I have to walk really far to my car, so while I'm walking, 
Um, I coach both volleyball teams. We have two. One is more of like a sixth, seventh grade team. One is more of an eighth grade team, or it is an eighth grade team, but we just call them like JV and varsity, even though, you know, we're not high school, but we just like to call it that. So I have to coach both games. So I always am um, concerned about time, making sure that we get started on time, because then after this, I have to go pick up Jensen, and if I'm late, then I'm gonna get charged extra, and that happens a lot, and it ends up costing us a lot of money. So, I'm trying to make sure that we get started on time, we finish on time, we never have time to do like the extra games or anything, because I gotta go. All right, I made it to the other school, and I've gotta go find all my players and make sure everybody's ready to go. Honestly, I have the best group of girls this year. We just kinda of do everything together. I have the sixth, seventh, and eighth graders all practice together. Um, I have like varsity girls kind of mentor the JV girls at practices, so they're like teaching each other and learning from each other, and they all have such good attitudes, and it's so much fun to play with them. I gotta go find them gather up all our stuff, bring it in there, and hopefully we win. This is one of our most difficult matches of the season. This school tends to have a really good team, so gotta be ready. Like all my my fancy backpack and all of our stuff. <laughs> People think it's so funny that we have to play outside. This is our court. <laughs> You want to count the steps? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Good job, Jensen. Okay. Yeah. Welcome to our kitchen. It is 6.15. We just got home, so I'm just gonna get dinner started right away. Um, this is my second meal from the Home Chef kit that I got the other day. So it's nice that I already have everything that I need to make a meal right here because I would not have had time to go to the store. Um, we have a pretty small kitchen, so it's tough to stay like stocked on a lot of things. I can't really do like a, a big meal on like Sundays and then save everything for the week because we just don't have space. So it's really nice to just receive a box and then be able to just cook two meals throughout the week. And they're really good, they taste really good. I'm making some salmon tonight. And I'll leave a link below where you can get $30 off of your first meal kit. And if you're a working mom like me, it's just, it's just nice to have help in any way at all, right? Just help with the shopping, help with like, picking out what to eat. Sometimes that's the hardest thing, right? I'm just like, I don't, I don't even know what to make. I don't even know what to shop for. What are we doing tonight? So this is very handy. So um, let me see, I'm gonna set you up here so that I can try and talk to you and cook. How can I do this? I'm not sure where my tripod is at the moment, so you're sitting on top of some chocolate protein powder. I think we're doing this one. This is a brown sugar salmon. Let's see, ooh, it's gonna be like salmon, green beans, and mashed potatoes. We were just saying we wanted to make some mashed potatoes for Jensen. Okay, so while I'm preparing all of this stuff, we did lose both of the games, unfortunately. That was probably the, the hardest team, like the hardest school that we have to play all year. We don't have tin foil? I thought we did. So if you're a coach, then you also know there's just special uh, challenges that come with coaching. It's, it's really hard to manage like playing time and winning. My husband and I are both coaches and we were just talking about how difficult it is to be a coach because you're managing like the interests of your whole team and the interests of like each individual kid and, and their family, you know, that came to see them play and everything. And it's just, it's a lot to have in your mind all at once while you're also coaching while we're in, you know, 92 degree heat outside while we're playing and I have two teams to coach back to back. So it's always tough. It's a bit of a thankless job, but you know, we, we make it work. Okay, so here's the only thing I, do not do sour cream. And so they're they're having us do the mashed potatoes with sour cream. 
I'm not going to. I'm gonna set this aside because I hate sour cream. Actually, I'm fairly good at doing mashed potatoes and if I have any chicken broth, that's what I usually add. Okay, we've got our salmon going, potatoes boiling, got some yummy uh, green beans. Yeah, hi Vincent. What you up to? Okay, are you eating cookies? Yeah? What? All right, go ask daddy. Okay, I'm improvising on these mashed potatoes because I'm just picky and annoying and I didn't want to use this flavoring that they gave us. So I'm just using chicken broth, that's what I usually use. And I don't have a, like a masher, like a potato masher. So this is something from like a blender, but it's actually working fine. It's been kind of nice to just like sit here and follow instructions and not have to make decisions. <laughs> As a teacher, you are just making decisions all day long at every single level of brain function. And then as a coach, you're sitting there making decisions and then you know I pick up Jensen and making decisions about him so it's actually kind of nice to just like follow a recipe have choices made for me and just do what it says on the paper while I finish everything else let Jensen start his like first course so let's see hey Jensen welcome to what do you think Jensen are they yummy yummy <laughs> all right here we go ignore all my stuff <laughs> from the school day but I've got two plates here this looks really really good the salmon the mashed potatoes and the green beans and then we actually have a little bit of leftover vegetables that um, Jensen can eat it doesn't look like he made too much of a dent in his mashed potatoes because we need to turn off the TV Jensen we need to take a break from cars and come eat your mashed potatoes Derek is in his cave doing homework. I am starving. It has been such a long day. So I've got some salmon and some potatoes. That is really good. <laughs> okay, time to get cleaned up. I'm one of those people where like if I stop working and I sit down, I am never gonna get back up again and clean this kitchen. So I'm just gonna put away everything now, wash all the dishes, get everything you know dried and put away. We don't have a dishwasher, so I just have to do everything by hand, but I'm gonna do it now. And one thing that I don't mind about doing dishes is that I just listen to podcasts while I clean up the kitchen. And um, like Pod Save America is one of my favorites. Wait, wait, don't tell me is one of my favorites. Or sometimes I'll just listen to like NPR on my phone, just on the app. So I can kind of catch up with the news, just catch up in general with what's going on. And this kind of helps like round out my day because when you're teaching and you know, in meetings and coaching and all that, you've, you get a little disconnected from like the real world. So it's nice to have a time to just like focus in again on what's happening. Hehehehe <laughs> 